trainer Emily here and today Stella is going to help me with Training Tip Tuesday. This week and next week we're going to talk a little bit about getting in cars as this is a common problem um, that many pet owners face. Some dogs really easily get into the car right away and it's not a particular issue but other dogs may have had uh, unpleasant past experiences in the car. Perhaps the only time the dog went in the car was to go to the vets or the groomers. So cars have already have a bad meaning for them. Um, so it's really important, first off, to make sure that your dog has balanced experiences in the car. You shouldn't only go in there just to go bad places, but also good places such as the dog park or um, even driving through a drive through um, if he gets something extra special when you uh, pick up your order. So that's one. Number two, sometimes dogs are just plain nervous about the car, so we wanna make the car a good place. Um, some dogs are helped by putting something familiar or comfortable in the car, such as a blanket from their bed, um, or something that otherwise smells like them to give them comfort. Another thing that can help is giving them something to do in the car and simply practicing getting in the car while the car is stationary. That way it's much less threatening and the dog can relax. Hey, do you want that? And lastly, it also helps to teach the dog to actually load up in the car on cue. Sometimes dogs will do this fairly easily. Come on, come on, load up, oh, come on. Other dogs need a little extra help. Oh, do you want cookies? Oh, nummies, want we in here for cookies? Come on, load, you want that? Oh, you're silly, I'm gonna put this in here. Also, dogs don't like going into cars when it's an enclosed place. One of the things we can actually do is open the other door and make it a tunnel rather than an enclosed space and they might be more likely to get in. Load up. There she is. Good job. Thank you very much and I'll see you next week.